Hey guys, it's Armytrix, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a controller to your Android device as fast as I can. So first, you'll need to install 6-axis compatibility checker. This will check whether your device is compatible with this at first, so without you having to pay for the app or getting it in other means. So go ahead and find the app. It should pop up as soon as you've installed it. Open it up, click OK to any messages, and then you'll need to hit start. What should happen is it should start a connection successfully and then it should stop itself afterwards. So the drive is starting and it's disconnected. So that, sh that should mean that your device should work. Sometimes you might get an error message that may mean it won't work. Now you'll need to go ahead and install the actual 6-axis um, controller which is available for a small amount of money, but you can get it in other means, if you know what I'm saying. Now you can open it up, hit start, and it should start listening for controllers. Now you'll have to go ahead and get your controller. But before we do that, you'll need to take a note of the local Bluetooth address. Note it down somewhere safe, because we'll need it for later. Now all you have to do is download the 6-axis pair tool on your computer. So from Dancing Pixel Studios, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Download it and set it up. Okay, now you just need to go onto the Windows 8 charms bar or on Windows 7, just find the program and look for 6-axis pair tool. You can now launch it. Now you can just get your PS3 controller, plug it into your computer by the USB provided and the program should detect it. Now you can just type in the um, Bluetooth address that's shown on your phone, as we saw before. Then once you type it in, you'll need to hit update, and that should install the necessary drivers and link it up. Mine hasn't changed, of course, because I've already set it up before. Now all you need to do is go back into 6-axis controller and start it if you haven't already. Grab your controller and press the PlayStation button and it should sync up. And then it should display the battery status and which client it is because you, yeah, you can connect multiple controllers. Change the IME to 6-axis controller and now you'll need to go and change the preferences quickly. So find the preferences and you'll need to go into the gamepad settings and make sure enable gamepad is ticked so this should make sure it works with almost all games. Now we'll need to go ahead and launch a game such as Dead Trigger 2. There are quite a big selection of games that are compatible and I will leave a list of compatible games in the description. You may need to configure the settings in some games for this to work but this is it in action on Dead Trigger 2. Enjoy! And as always, if you like this video, give it a like if it has helped you out. Don't forget to leave a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. If you need any help or any more advice on this, please leave a comment. See you next time. Goodbye.